Good morning guys. It's Monday today. Just woke up, did my hair, just straightened it. Brakas and I are having breakfast or making our breakfast and then uh, I'll go to Zara because today in Klaipeda they open Zara so you'll be able to come in and shop at Zara from now on which, which is probably the only clothing uh, store in the shopping center where you'll be able to shop um, so yeah I'll go there in about half an hour when I get ready and just have a look, have a pretty private shopping experience before it opens and show you guys um, some of my choices, some full-on outfits. By the way, sleeping in this cotton set was something else. I mean, the experience is incredible because the cotton is... I never pay too much attention on what bed sheets I get. I never went for anything super high quality or pricier, but wow, does it make a difference. Rokas actually said, I didn't even know if I'm wearing anything. Do I have a t-shirt on or not? Because it sort of sticks to your body and merges with you. Um, oh my God, the set is incredible. So highly recommend bedroom mood. my breakfast today this is our team effort <laughs> I did half of it and Rog has finished adding the fruit on coffee just having regular coffee because we're out of coffee pods so need to need to get them today wow Rokas is a chef. Look at the breakfast he made himself. There's buckwheat underneath, egg and vegetables on top. So as it turns out, a few people already knew about the opening. So I'm not the only one here. But the store looks super clean. Super well organized. So let's do some shopping. This bag stole my heart. The chain is super chunky. Definitely going home with me. And I also fell in love with this cream uh, blazer. So I wanna try it on in large because I like my jackets to be oversized. I'm gonna... The jewelry is really nice as well. I like these bracelets. Look at these shoes. Amazing. Okay, so this is my selection so far. Gonna dry two pairs of shoes, this gorgeous green suit, lots of cream things. And this is my outfit today. I'm wearing Zara men's leather jacket and a pretty basic look. So let's try everything on now. Okay, this is what the suit looks like. I think it looks super cool with these chunky shoes. Love the shoes and I really like the fit of the trousers as well. I like that they're quite long. And this forest green is gorgeous. I wouldn't wear anything under the suit. I would just go braless. This I feel like is such a gorgeous summer outfit. Shorts are from the new collection, sort of tailored long shorts. Maybe I should size up because I would like them to be even baggier. And then this sort of textured top, I found it in the sales section, but I love the sleeves. It's got a collar. A bag with a chunky chain and then these sort of sandals. Love this look for summer. It's like very classy, put together. Great for just going to grab some coffee with your girlfriends. This outfit is pretty much my uniform. This is what I usually wear and I think I'm gonna get this trench coat because I'm obsessed with oversized trenches and the texture of this one is great. It's water repellent. 
So I would just wear it with a simple white tank top. I have a few of these at home, but I really like this one. Might get it as well because I honestly wear white tanks every single day. And then um, shoulder bag, a small shoulder bag with a chunky chain looks gorgeous it adds a little bit of interest to your outfit and i'm not sure about these jeans because i was looking for jeans with a split bottom i really like how wide they are at the bottom but they're super skinny here and i'm so over skinny jeans so it kind of feels weird uh, wearing skinny jeans again but I love the bottom, so I'm not sure. I'll still have to decide on the jeans, but the coat is gorgeous. And yeah, this is my favorite type of look for like every day. I feel like this is so, so me. This is just a shirt I found in the sales section and I quite like it for casual outfit like this. Again, just going out for a walk in the city. When it gets warmer, you can unbutton it, which is how I like to wear um, oversized shirts like this in the summer. Just a super fitted white tank top and then a shirt worn as a jacket like this. I think it looks very nice. So I might get this shirt as well. I'm gonna try some jackets now. So I really like this cream oversized denim jacket. Again, it can go over everything. Perfect for spring. And then there's this jacket, which makes me think of baby blankets because it's made of that sort of material. It's a little warmer. Um, it's quite cute, but I'm not gonna get it. Okay, then there's an outfit like this. I was looking for trousers exactly like this, but I'm not sure if they're very flattering on me. I'm undecided, but I love the color and the, the fact that they have this paneling, this line here. Jumper is cute. It's super soft, a very soft knit. Um, seems good quality. Still thinking about this one. But yeah, it's an option. Oh my god, guys, look at this suit. It stole my heart. It's gorgeous with these chunky loafers. It looks incredible. I'm definitely getting this suit. I'm absolutely in love. Okay, so these are all of the things that I'm getting. The shorts, the cream suit, the trench. These two shirts, the bag, and these two pairs of shoes. Very happy with my choices actually because I feel like I'll be able to mix and match them and incorporate them in my wardrobe very easily, which is super important for me. Just came home, showed everything to Rakas. And yeah, I cannot even choose my favorite piece. I love them all. I think my favorite would have to be this cream suit cream set and the bag yeah the bag is probably my number one but i do love everything and i want to say a massive thanks to zara and apranga group for working with me i'm very pleased with everything thank you guys so much cooking some pasta for lunch today with champignons homemade tomato sauce um, spring onion, what else? Cherry tomatoes. So cute. Good morning, guys. I'm off to get my nails done because look at the state they are in. Haven't had my nails done in ages. Um, I actually asked you guys on Instagram what are good nail technicians in Vilnius and i did some research and made an extensive list of um really great nail technicians and good nail salons in Vilnius. but i didn't end up going because Rocco's sister had a gel kit so i used hers temporarily um but i might go to some of the salons in the future when i'm in Vilnius. anyway so i'm going to get one done today at olasi juroglava studio and i'm just wearing a vintage jumper um, I believe it's wool jumper and then these Lindex 
navy blue striped trousers that I absolutely love and I'm gonna wear my Reebok um, sneakers, a vintage navy blue coat, trench coat and my new Zara bag. Okay, so here is my full outfit. I found this vintage trench in Vilnius and I absolutely love it because I was actually looking for a navy blue trench coat. And these sneakers are the comfiest so off I go. I went for something different this time. <laughs> So I want to show you guys on a better camera the result. The girl is called Monica, if you're wondering, at Ole Sejuravlava Studio. And I'm so happy. I've never gone for anything this... This is crazy for me because I usually go for like neutral, minimal manicures. And this is color and pattern, very unusual for me, but I love it. It's like I got out of my comfort zone and I'm obsessed. I cannot stop looking at them. They look like little candies. And she was so precise, careful, super gentle. So I highly recommend this girl and it's definitely not my last time that I go get my manicure done by her. It's fun. <laughs> this is for cleaning the the hob the best thing russian soda because i have white hops so it gets dirty like this every time we cook something so that's super annoying um and the only thing that really works is good old soda so just sprinkle some of it mix it with water and then clean it today i'm making our breakfast we'll have oatmeal with blueberries and bananas I sprinkled some almond flakes on top. So I just finished replanting these two babies. Um, mother's in law tongue. This plant here is actually really happy growing super fast. And then a string of hearts. The pot is actually I think a little too small for it, but I don't know. It's it's growing. And talking about plants. Uh, today I also broke the branches of my olive tree because it's just super sad it died all of the leaves fell off it was super happy in the summer because it got lots of sunshine but throughout the winter it slowly died and I don't know let me know in the comments if it's possible to revive it. I used a couple soil fertilizers and I'm constantly watering it, but I'm not sure like it's it's just super dry. Is it possible to bring it back to life? Let me know. This one is thriving. The lamp is waiting to be hung this weekend and today I'm gonna go and ship out everything that you guys bought for me and that I packed yesterday. Um, so yeah, Dorian is munching on something, on a bone, Rockus is here with two laptops working. We're going away to have a little walk in the woods. We're doing some grocery shopping, got some ciabatta. came to ship your orders with this massive hay bag going to the post office now we're going to the beach <laughs>
hopefully it will be good. Hey guys, it's another day today and it's evening already. Rockers and I had an idea to have our dinner on the beach, actually on Orlando Capura, which is like a little cliff. Um, and from up there you can see the whole beach. It's so beautiful there. Um, so yeah, we'll get dressed really warmly, take a door in with us, our dinner, um, and go have a cozy dinner on a cliff. I've boiled the dumplings already and this will be our sauce, bacon, spring onions, um, we're gonna add some sour cream and then we'll put them into the, the Tupperware and drink kefir with them. So a very homey, sort of um, comforting food. Okay, so this is what they look like with the sauce. Lithuanians or Russians will understand because these are kolduny or pelmeni in Russian. Um, yeah. So it's just uh, we wanted something easy to make and easy to take with us. Okay, we're ready to go. Wearing a warm jumper and some leggings, coat, hat. This is our food, our dumplings, and we're ready to go. So here we are, we came to Alanda Capura and it's Rakas is preparing our spot where we'll eat. Look at this massive tree. As you can see here, we are pretty high. You probably cannot tell, but yeah, it's really high. And people usually go there because you have like a, this sort of balcony where you can sit. Whoa, it's so high. Hey guys, I'm gonna wrap up my vlog here. I just dropped Rokas at the train station. He has to go to Vilnius for work for a few days and then he'll be back. But yeah, today I'll go to a homework shop. I need to get a curtain rod because I wanna get my curtains hanged this weekend. I have to edit a vlog, go ship out the last pieces and pick up a parcel. So get some groceries, so just running errands sort of day. It's Friday and I'll see you in my next weekly vlog. Bye!